We all want what is best for our kids. Now that the COVID-19 vaccines are available for 5 to 11 year olds, I encourage you to make every effort to get your children vaccinated. Remember, before being approved for use in Canada, all vaccines are tested to make sure they are safe and effective. Vaccines work. We have consistently seen that the risk of COVID-19 infection, hospitalization, or ICU admissions is greater among the unvaccinated. In its clinical trials with children aged 5 to 11, Pfizer reported an efficacy rate of 91% against symptomatic COVID-19 and no cases of severe COVID-19, hospitalization, or death. I know many of you may have questions you need answered before making your decision. Today, I want to get that conversation started. And for those who need more information after this video message, I encourage you to speak to your child's healthcare provider and to seek out information on COVID-19 vaccines from credible sources. Halton.ca slash COVID vaccines for kids is a great place to learn about COVID-19 vaccines. So with that, here are five key things you should know about COVID-19 vaccines for children aged 5 to 11. COVID-19 incidence rates among Halton residents have trended higher in the 0 to 19 year age group compared to other age groups over the fall of 2021. This represents hundreds of COVID-19 cases among Halton children just in the past few months. While the good news is that most children have milder symptoms compared to adults, it's difficult to predict who may experience more severe symptoms and become seriously ill. Post-COVID symptoms could also be quite severe. One of these is multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children, or MISC, which may result in complications that require intensive care or long-lasting symptoms. And while MISC is not common, the risk is greatest among 6 to 12 year olds. Most reported cases, hospitalizations and deaths are occurring among unvaccinated people. There are more than 50,000 unvaccinated children aged 5 to 11 in Halton alone. For a recent 30-day period in Halton, the risk of getting COVID-19 was seven times higher among unvaccinated residents compared to fully vaccinated residents and the risk of becoming a hospitalized COVID-19 case was 24 times higher. Vaccination can help prevent or reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our community. Like adults, if children become infected, they can transmit COVID-19 to others even when they have no symptoms. Each child who gets vaccinated helps protect peers at school or at activities outside of school, along with their siblings, parents, grandparents, and others who may be at greater risk of severe disease. With the Delta variant circulating within our community, COVID-19 cases are more likely to be among the unvaccinated population, such as our children. In fact, Canadians under the age of 12 now account for the highest number of new COVID-19 infections. Reducing viral transmission through vaccination reduces the chance of the virus developing new variants that may be more severe or more easily spread from person to person. Fully vaccinated people have different isolation rules. If your school-age child is fully vaccinated, the likelihood that your child needs to self-isolate at home due to COVID-19 infection is less. I know children missing school has been very hard for families to juggle. Not needing to stay home to self-isolate helps simplify day-to-day -day life. Living through a pandemic has not been easy for any of us, but in many ways it has been hardest on our children. The pandemic has had an impact on our children's friendships and family connections. The pandemic has disrupted school, camps and activities outside of school. There have been shifts between being in person with masks, attending school and other programs online or event cancellations. The unpredictability has been stressful for children. It has affected their mental, social, and emotional health. Vaccination can provide a sense of control, a way for children to see themselves as part of the solution on the path to recovery. COVID-19 vaccines represent hope and a way out of the pandemic for all of us, including our children. By getting yourself and your children vaccinated, you're not only protecting your family, 
but you are also helping to slow the spread of COVID-19. You can learn more about vaccines, the approval process, how they differ for children, and how to get your children vaccinated at halton.ca slash COVID vaccines for kids.